Hi, and you're welcome once again. So, uh, I made a discovery about the SAN card, V8 card that I was that I talked about the last time. So I re I realized that when I was recording, I have some uh, background noise which is not suitable for uh, for sound. So I come to realize that there's a particular cable uh, that I need to remove from it, and which I've been able to do. So I want you to know it also so that you don't face the same challenge uh, or if you are going through the same challenge you know how to connect it, you know how to correct it and it's going to work for you. My name is Suleiman Adeyemi Imane so all you need to do is just to subscribe to this channel and you are good to go. So I will be bringing more to you. As much as discovery that I make, I will let you know about it so that you can have good audio recording. Uh -huh. Uh, this sound card V8 is an external sound card, but if it's not well connected, it gives some noise, some background noise when you're recording. And when it gives me the, that challenge, I've come to realize that you need to, there are some things you need to remove from it to make it work perfectly. So I've come to realize that. Uh, plugging this thing, connecting this thing to the system with three cables uh, brings causes to, uh, to be noisy. So you have some strange noise in the background when you are recording. So I've come to realize that all you just need to do to make a good sound is this live one, your 2.0 cord and the data cable on charging we serve as a uh, as a driver it also drives your system so with this only you are fine so the rest is just you connect your condenser mic your earphone and you are good to go so this live one now will go straight to air phone or your system. Why this will go to normal USB port? The next thing to do is to power on. You have to press down, press down till it shows. Yeah. So this indicates that it's on. So it's it's blinks. That's a blue light blinking that shows that uh, it can be connected through Bluetooth. So, uh, I'm using QBS5 still. I'm we'll still talk about QBS11 uh, sometimes soon. Uh, here, from here, now you go to new, new project. So, new project. I click OK. And then you create new folder. New folder. Then you name your your file and the new song you want to record. Let's say D D D. So D D D. Then you click on it. D D D. You click OK. Now we have a page, a new page. So before to confirm your sound card, you go to device. So from device, go to uh, VST connection of F4 a short shortcut. So here right now, because you created a new file, a new folder, a new name. So first of all, let's click on input. It's an input now. Your input has to be mono in. This is stereo in. We have to take it out. You right click on it and remove boss. So it's out now. Then you click on add boss. So you make sure this one is mono. If it's on stereo, you change it to mono. Mono. Yes, yeah, mono in. It's always good to record with mono in. Then your output has to be stereo out. 
So you just leave that stereo out. Now before that, you're you supposed to have uh, connect this. Go to so you see uh, on the on Cubase five. Go to device on Cubase eleven. I want to go to studio. For this, you go to device. You click on device. So you make sure when you click on this VST audio system. You have to make sure using V8 card. You have to make sure you're on FL FS Studio issue. So FS Studio issue. Then you 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 okay. So this give you this is this makes your V8 to be connected to to the system before going to uh, to F8. Then you change this, change this. Uh, uh, the the input, the input is mono. The output is stereo, and you are good. From here now, you go to add audio track. Add audio track. Let your audio track be mono. If it's stereo, is you can manipulate uh, stereo when uh, you record. Not that if you record on stereo, it won't come in. It will come in, but editing it will, may give you problem. So to avoid problem uh, during editing, so it's always good you go with mono. That uh, is easily manipulated. So from there we have a track right now. So to recording on the track, all you do is. Make sure you click on the track, and when you show this red here, this red here, and you show the red, that means you can record. You just click on record. So let's get something now. And sometimes when you are recording or after connecting everything, you realize you realize that the sound is not coming in to you. Uh, your uh, audio recorder as in Cubase or whatever you're using to record you you have you close the window close the app completely and you close the app you see you see have to say with the name you you, uh, you want to say the song with or whatever audio you record so let's take go by DDD enter so now I want to close it, then you have to reopen it again. So when you close it, you refresh your system. So let's go to. So here now, if you show the last, uh, you see this DDD, which is the first the file we created that time. So let me just as as I click on it now, you click on that DDD. We open so now let's check the audio okay uh, you have to confirm your audio here when it's coming in you know, it shows here and when you are playing back it shows here so when you are playing back and uh, your headphone or what you're using to play back is not loud enough so during the playback, you can easily remove this. If you remove this and leave this plugged, leave the uh, 2.5 as in the data cable, so you your audio will be louder. You hear your your what you recorded so loudly. But well, as long as you still have this in, so the audio to your headphone may be lower. Or removing this during playback is going to be very loud. But anytime you want to record or you want to uh, yeah record, make sure you have this in and be able to record your audio and you have a good sound. So the reason why I'm reducing this because I use I do use uh, before I use uh, three cables to connect it, connecting one ear. But I co I've come to realize that the cable here causes noise. 
and it brings it makes some uh, it just brings noise to your recording and it causes some unnecessary noise which is not needed so that is why when I realized that it was the cable that caused the, the noise so I have to do away with it so you don't need the cable ah. welcome back I can see uh, with that we've been able to do you can see that uh, if you follow the step we just followed right now, you realize that you'll be able to you will record your audio without background noise and you'll be able to correct some things. I also realize that whenever I want to record and this uh, and this echo, you know, this echo it has to be at least on either nine o'clock or twelve o'clock, depend on how you want it. Though immediately you put it, you're going to hear it from your uh, from your headphone or from your speaker. Well, it's, I realized that when I put it on nine o'clock or more, I the it give me a pleasant audio than when I when I put it down completely. So now I prefer putting it on nine o'clock when I'm recording, and this is audio in. So it's, uh, I I don't always advise that you raise this so higher. So it's always good. My I do put my own on ten o'clock. So this is on ten o'clock right now. So and it give me good audio. So uh, this is how far we can go. And this is your monitor, your headphone monitor. So if you increase it, you need to. So just try all the buttons, all this turn button, and you will see what you can do with it. And any challenge you have, just try to figure it out. Sit down. And see how you figure it out. So I still remain my humble self, Adiemi Emmanuel from Nigeria. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.